10 Worst Foods for Diabetics Most foods may be part of your diet when you have diabetes, but eating certain types while limiting others may help support healthy blood glucose levels and reduce your chances of developing other chronic diseases. Certain foods and drinks may raise blood glucose and insulin levels and promote inflammation. These effects may increase your risk of prediabetes and diabetes. Currently, nearly 11% of people in the United States have type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Furthermore, the Dietary Guidelines for Americans 2020 to 2025 report that 35% of American adults are prediabetic. Having a healthy, balanced diet may help many people manage diabetes symptoms and reduce the risk of complications. In today's video, we will delve deeper into 10 foods that we must avoid to manage high blood sugar. Also, stick to the end of the video, where we will highlight the substitutes for these foods that you should eat to deal with your diabetes. All right, let's begin. 1. White bread White bread, a staple in many diets, significantly impacts blood sugar levels due to its high glycemic index and low fiber content. Refined flour in white bread typically contains a high amount of simple carbohydrates with a 100 gram serving providing about 49 grams of carbs, most of which are starches. When you consume white bread, your digestive system rapidly converts the starches into glucose, leading to a swift rise in blood sugar levels. This surge triggers the pancreas to release insulin, a hormone that helps cells absorb glucose for energy. However, when blood sugar levels are consistently high, often a result of frequent consumption of high GI foods like white bread, the body's cells may become less responsive to insulin a condition known as insulin resistance. Over time, this may lead to higher insulin needs and may set the stage for type 2 diabetes. Most commercial white bread contains only 1 to 3 grams of added sugar per slice. Higher sugar levels may mean it contains unnecessary added sugars. 2. Fried foods the primary issue with fried foods in the context of blood sugar management lies in the combination of high fat content and the presence of refined carbohydrates, often found in coatings such as batter and breading. These coatings, usually made from white flour, contain significant amounts of simple carbohydrates. For instance, a typical serving of fried chicken may contain over 8 grams of carbohydrates, primarily from the coating and more than 10 grams of fat, much of which is saturated and trans fats due to the frying process. When consumed, the refined carbohydrates in the coating are quickly broken down into sugars, leading to a rapid increase in blood sugar levels. Concurrently, the high fat content exacerbates the situation by slowing down the digestion process, leading to a prolonged period of high blood sugar. Furthermore, the types of fats often used in frying, such as partially hydrogenated oils, may contain trans fats, which are known to contribute to inflammation and insulin resistance. Additionally, fried foods are typically high in calories, contributing to weight gain, a major risk factor for developing type 2 diabetes. In a large study involving over 111,000 participants, researchers found that as the frequency of fried food consumption increased, so did the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Do you find this information helpful? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for more health secrets and tips. 3. Fruit Juice when you consume whole fruits, the fiber within helps slow down the digestion process, leading to a gradual release of sugars, primarily fructose, into the bloodstream. 
This slow absorption helps maintain stable blood sugar levels and keeps you feeling full longer. However, in the case of fruit juice, the absence of fiber allows for the rapid absorption of sugar. For instance, a typical 8 ounce, 240 milliliter serving of fruit juice may contain up to 30 grams of sugar, comparable to that of a soda. This high concentration of fructose is quickly absorbed into the bloodstream when you drink fruit juice. Once absorbed, fructose travels to the liver, where it is converted into glucose and other compounds. A sudden influx of fructose may overwhelm the liver's processing capacity, leading to increased blood sugar levels and the conversion of excess sugars into fat. According to a 2010 study, drinking one to two sugary drinks per day increased the risk of type 2 diabetes by 26% compared with having less than one serving a month. 4. Pastries and Sweets Starting with the refined carbohydrates, pastries such as cakes, cookies and donuts are usually made from white flour, which, like white bread, has been stripped of its natural fiber during the refining process. In the context of pastries and sweets, the lack of fiber means that the body rapidly digests and absorbs the refined carbohydrates, converting them quickly into glucose. Moreover, a typical medium-sized pastry may contain anywhere from 30 to 60 grams of carbohydrates, mostly in the form of refined sugars and starches. These refined sugars are known for their high glycemic index. This means they are absorbed quickly and lead to rapid increases in blood sugar levels. Furthermore, the fats present in pastries, particularly trans fats and saturated fats, contribute to the problem. They slow down the digestion process. This delay may result in a prolonged period of high blood sugar. Additionally, these unhealthy fats may lead to weight gain and increase the risk of insulin resistance, a condition in which the body cells become less responsive to insulin, leading to higher blood sugar levels. According to a study, a diet high in heavily processed carbohydrates increased the risk of type 2 diabetes by 21% in Chinese women compared with those who ate a diet rich in whole foods. 5. Potato Chips Potato chips, a popular snack worldwide, may significantly contribute to high blood sugar levels, primarily due to their high glycemic index and substantial carbohydrate content. Typically, a standard serving of potato chips, about 1 ounce or 28 grams, contains approximately 15 grams of carbohydrates, mostly in the form of starch. This starch, once consumed, is quickly broken down into glucose, leading to an increase in blood sugar levels. Apart from that, the high salt and fat content found in potato chips may also play a role in affecting blood sugar control. While these components do not directly raise blood sugar levels, they may contribute to insulin resistance over time, making it more challenging to regulate blood sugar levels effectively. Increasing potato consumption by three servings per week over four years was linked to a 4% higher type 2 diabetes risk. 6. White Rice In terms of composition, a standard cup of cooked white rice, about 158 grams, may contain around 45 grams of carbohydrates, most of which are starches that lack the fiber found in their whole grain counterparts. Due to the minimal fiber content in white rice, this conversion of starch to glucose happens rapidly, leading to a quick rise in glucose levels in the bloodstream. This surge is particularly pronounced with white rice because of its high glycemic index, which measures how much and how quickly a food may raise blood sugar levels after consumption. Additionally, the lack of fiber 
in white rice not only affects blood sugar spikes, but also influences satiety levels. Fiber contributes to a feeling of fullness, slowing down the eating process and reducing overall food intake. The absence of fiber in white rice may lead to faster eating and larger portion sizes, further increasing the total intake of carbohydrates and, consequently, the level of glucose entering the bloodstream. For people with diabetes or a risk of the condition, some examples of carb sources to limit include white rice and anything made with white flour only. 7. Processed meats Processed meats, such as sausages, bacon, ham and salami, are high in sodium and preservatives, such as nitrates and nitrites, which have been associated with inflammation and oxidative stress in the body. Chronic inflammation and increased oxidative stress may impair the body's insulin signaling pathways, leading to insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is a condition in which the body's cells become less responsive to the hormone insulin, making it more difficult to regulate blood sugar levels effectively. Secondly, processed meats are often rich in saturated fats. While dietary fats do not directly raise blood sugar levels, a high intake of saturated fats has been linked to increased visceral fat. The fat stored around the abdomen and vital organs. Visceral fat is metabolically active and secretes inflammatory substances that contribute to insulin resistance. By promoting this unhealthy fat accumulation and inflammation, processed meats may indirectly influence blood sugar regulation. In a 2011 study, researchers found that one three ounce serving per day of red meat increased the risk of type 2 diabetes by 19%. For an even smaller amount of processed red meat, the increase was 51%. 8. Alcohol The liver plays a crucial role in blood sugar regulation by storing and releasing glucose as needed. Normally, when blood sugar levels drop, the liver breaks down stored glycogen into glucose releasing it into the bloodstream to normalize levels. However, when alcohol is consumed, the liver prioritizes metabolizing the alcohol over all other substances. Certain alcoholic beverages, especially those high in carbohydrates, like sweet wines and beer, may lead to an initial spike in blood sugar. For men, drinking 60 grams per day of alcohol was linked to a higher relative risk of developing type 2 diabetes. However, for women, it only takes 50 grams per day. 9. Artificial sweeteners Although artificial sweeteners are low in calories, research shows that they still have a negative effect on blood sugar by increasing insulin resistance, leading to higher blood sugar levels and increasing the risk of type 2 diabetes. When you consume foods or beverages containing artificial sweeteners, such as aspartame, sucralose, or saccharine, your body tastes something sweet. This triggers a series of anticipatory responses, as if you were consuming sugar. These sweeteners may alter the composition and function of the gut bacteria which play a crucial role in metabolic processes, including glucose metabolism. Changes in the gut microbiota may lead to decreased glucose tolerance and altered glycemic responses, meaning your body might start to process natural sugars and carbohydrates less efficiently, indirectly affecting blood sugar levels. 10. Fast food Due to its poor nutritional qualities and ability to encourage overeating, people who eat junk food may gain weight. Excess weight and body fat are major risk factors for developing type 2 diabetes, which accounts for 90 to 95% of all cases of diabetes. Moreover, typical fast food items, such as burgers, 
fries and sugary drinks are loaded with elements that disrupt blood sugar control. For instance, a standard fast food meal may easily contain 100 grams or more of carbohydrates, predominantly of the refined sort, which may lead to significant spikes in blood sugar. The problem is compounded by the high fat content common in fast food. While fats themselves do not raise blood sugar levels directly, they may slow down the digestion process. This delayed digestion means that glucose continues to be absorbed into the bloodstream long after the meal has been eaten, leading to prolonged elevated blood sugar levels. Apart from that, the types of fats often used in fast food are saturated and trans fats, which may contribute to insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is a condition where the body's cells become less responsive to insulin, making it harder to regulate blood sugar effectively. Five foods that you must eat to deal with diabetes. Managing diabetes requires mindful eating, focusing on foods that help maintain stable blood sugar levels. One. Leafy greens. Vegetables such as spinach, kale and Swiss chard are low in calories and carbohydrates, which means they have little impact on blood sugar levels. Additionally, leafy greens are high in vitamins and minerals like magnesium and vitamin A, which may help improve insulin sensitivity and overall health. 2. Whole grains. Choose whole grains such as quinoa, barley, oats and brown rice over refined grains. Whole grains have a lower glycemic index, meaning they release glucose more slowly and steadily into the bloodstream, preventing sudden spikes in blood sugar. They are also rich in fiber, which may help manage blood sugar levels and support digestive health. 3. Fatty fish Salmon, sardines, herring and mackerel are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, particularly EPA and DHA, which have been shown to reduce inflammation and improve heart health in individuals with diabetes. Since people with diabetes have an increased risk of heart disease, incorporating fatty fish into your diet may be particularly beneficial. 4. Nuts and Seeds Almonds, walnuts, flax seeds and chia seeds are high in fiber, healthy fats and protein, all of which may help stabilize blood sugar levels. Nuts and seeds may also help improve insulin sensitivity and reduce inflammation. Just be mindful of portion sizes as nuts and seeds are also high in calories. 5. Legumes Beans, lentils and chickpeas are great sources of plant-based protein, fiber and complex carbohydrates. They have a low glycemic index and may help manage blood sugar levels while providing essential nutrients like iron, potassium and magnesium. Additionally, legumes may be filling, which helps control appetite and prevent overeating. For individuals managing diabetes, understanding the types of foods that adversely affect blood sugar levels is crucial. By avoiding or limiting these 10 foods, diabetics may better maintain stable blood glucose levels and improve their overall health. Remember, individual responses to foods may vary so it's essential to monitor your blood sugar levels and adjust your diet accordingly. Consulting with a healthcare provider or a dietitian may provide personalized dietary advice tailored to your specific health needs. Today, we learned about all the foods that you may need to avoid diabetes. But did you know that there are other useful foods in your pantry that may be just as helpful? Want to find out more? Watch. 9 Foods to Save Your Pancreas from Damage Or watch 
save your kidneys from damage by eating these 13 foods. Watch one, or even better, watch both. What other foods do you think are not good for your blood sugar management? Let us know in the comments below.